Hey YouTube, Shukwit Shinobi here, and I'm pleased to bring you, um, as fast as I possibly could, the review of the Kamen Rider Double Skull Magnum. Uh, Kamen Rider Skull is a movie exclusive writer. He is in the, uh, Begins the Night movie, which is a part of the, uh, movie Tyson 2010 that's, uh, airing right now in Japan. And I'm really eager to watch it, and I can't watch it anywhere because nobody in Japan films illegal movies and I wish someone would because I want to see it very very bad but um I read the synopsis and it sounds really cool and I can't wait until I can eventually see it so uh, anyway I'll make this really fast because there's a lot to show in this video and I don't want to make it two parts so here we have the box we have a picture of the skull magnum and the skull memory uh comes with one memory which is a skull memory uh which has lights and sounds uh double logo bunch of text um, up here we have the Skull logo with a picture of Skull and the Magnum and his helmet and the memory. Up here it says Skull Magnum. A uh, picture of, really epic picture of Skull right here with the trigger and the memory. Uh, same down here. Uh, we have that thank you sticker that I pointed out in my vlog. Uh, shows the Skull memory. Uh, the fact that the trigger plays sounds without any memories in it. Uh, inserting the memory for the maximum drive and then flipping the gun open. Uh, and then it also shows how uh, you can connect the memory gadget series weapons to it. And the fact that you can put the skull mag uh, memory, not the magnum, into the uh, double driver. And I will show that too. And then we have the same picture over here. So um, really quick, I'm going to get this open. Uh, there's a lot to show, so I'm not going to do the unboxing in person. But um, I'll be back. Alright, so here we have the Skull Magnum out of package. Um, the box itself contained the Skull Magnum and the Skull Memory. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the memory real quick. Um, it is pretty much identical in uh, both color and design to uh, the Joker memory. Uh, it, it might be a slight, slight bit lighter, um, but looking at it, it probably isn't. Uh, it's probably just a trick of the eye. Um, but as you can see, they're fairly, fairly close. Like, they're probably, like, cousins. Or something cool like that. So, um, let's take a look at the noise. Staru! 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 I, I really, I like that. Um, I can't really say why, but I do. Staru! Bright purple light, uh, just like the Joker memory. I think I just blinded everybody there. Uh, so now let's take a look at the Magnum itself. Um, really quick, uh, the skull here that forms the S is like one of the coolest logos I've seen so far in Double. So um, props to them because I really like that design. So here is the Magnum itself. i um, having difficulty trying to fit it all on my camera screen. But um, this is the default blaster mode. Um, the switch is down here. I already have it on. So we'll pull the trigger. So that is just the single burst um, shot. Um, I don't have the uh, trigger magnum to compare it to. Um, Jeremon 2005 does, and he will probably do a comparison if he reviews this, so uh, keep an eye on his channel. But um, the Trigger Magnum is a more of a machine gun round um, in this mode compared to the single shot of the Skull Magnum. Alright, and uh, when you flip it up, you get this sound. Haha, <laughs> it's a normal sound because it doesn't work that way. Um, but here's what it looks like when it's uh, in full burst mode, I suppose. Um, I like how the trigger magnum had the full double, or the full double U rather. Since it is the uh, skull magnum, it only has the uh, half of the double driver. I thought that was a cool detail, and overall the gun just looks really, really nice. Um, I like it better than the trigger magnum just because I like the black and red and silver color scheme a whole lot. So I'm a big fan of this. Uh, here's the other side, just in case y'all were curious what it looked like. So bring this down. 
activate the skull memory and then insert it right here I uh, push it all the way down till it locks so this will glow down here and then you'll just have the standby screech until you flip it up the noise then comes from the gun itself right here and then you pull the trigger and you get the full shot and then the explosion sound so basically the um, the maximum drive ring comes from the Gaia memory until you flip it up and then the really annoying noise transfers uh, the it shuts the guy memory off and then it comes from the uh, the magnum itself so uh, we'll go ahead and close this and pop this out so I can uh, show it really quick uh, it hits this side right here that's when it's in standby and then when it flips down like this it hits the button and all you get is that noise and then the sound starts playing from the uh, from the magnum now I will show the skull memory in the double driver So here we've got my awesomely modded double driver. Uh, skull is a silver tip memory, but it doesn't really matter what side you put it in because uh, it only works by itself, and you'll see why. So the henshin sound is instantaneous with the skull, uh, skull magnum. So uh, just to demonstrate, uh, here's Skull Joker. And before anybody asks, here's Skull Cyclone. So no matter what side you use, the uh, the Skull memory just totally wipes it out uh, in terms of noise. So um, the Skull memory is kind of just a single function uh, memory because it's supposed to be used in a one-sided device so there it was one more time I keep hitting the button and it's really easy to uh, set off so um now let's take a look at the skull memory inside the stag phone just for kicks So that's all. Uh, same functions in the uh, bat shot as well. As well as the uh, maximum drive slot. Uh, as with the trigger magnum, you can attach the gadget memory series items to the uh, skull magnum. So let's do that really quick. Go ahead and put in the skull memory. Okay. So to prep the stag phone for uh, awesomeness, uh, flip those around, bring out his little legs, bring his little leggies forward, uh, keep these ones back here, and then just take this right here and slide him in, and there you go. Here is the skull magnum with the stag phone, which is what the box uh, describes. Uh, probably because of the red and black and silver and the red and black and silver. But uh, here it is. And then real quick before I wrap this up. You just clip those and pull it out. And then really quick I will show the bat shot. So just go ahead and slide the bat shot in. Flip the bat shots 
the little shooter up and then pull out his wings. And there you have the bat shot on the skull magnum. Which I like a whole bunch. Uh, so that is about it. Uh, if there is anything that I missed and you want to see, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message and I will be sure to get to that. Um, but for now, I hope you enjoyed and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, check out my blog, shukanshomi.wordpress.com and uh, all that fun stuff. So until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.